Hey guys, Coach Daniel Hammer Tennis here. And so in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to do a review of some tennis balls. And so for about four bucks a can, you've got the Wilson US Open. And so it's one of the more expensive balls on the market. So is it really worth it? And then in the middle, we've got the Wilson Extra Duty Felt Championship Ball, one of the standards. This is a very widely used ball. It's about two fifty a can. And then we're going to do a value, the Pin Coach Ball. It's about two bucks a can. So we're going to play with these. We're going to do about 10 minutes with each ball and rotate them out so that way we can get a pretty good feel. And so we're just going to be playing out some points and we're going to just do a review on how these stack up against each other. Is at four bucks a can worth it or should you go cheap with two bucks a can? Let's find out. Right, so at first we're going to open up the uh, Wilson US Open ball. And the can is pretty, you can tell it's pretty pressurized. Um, so opening these up, they're pretty firm. They look pretty good. I'm not really seeing any big rubber here in the uh, the section there. Um, they look pretty consistent. They feel like they're about all the same, and a pretty decent pressure on them. Let's open up the uh, Wilson Championship. So opening these up, these actually feel maybe a little firmer than the U Wilson U.S. Open ball. Um, don't worry, we'll get those picked up later. Again, the actually the rubber here is even smaller than the US Open. Might be able to show that here in a second. And then lastly, we're gonna do the pin coach. This can feels the least pressurized of all three. Um, so when I open these here, these feel pretty solid actually coming out of the can. Um, I'm kind of surprised on that. This ball is actually has less pressure than the other two. This one's probably most, so the pressure on these is not necessarily consistent because this one's definitely has less pressure. Um, there's even a black mark on this ball. I don't know if you can see that in the camera there or not, but this one comes with a black mark already in the package. So, uh, but for a value ball, not too bad. Um, so, let's take, let's hit these and see what happens. So we hit with the Wilson Championship Extra Duty Felt first. And so after hitting with these for 10 minutes, so what we did is we hit with the same ball of each type for 10 minutes. So we only used one of the three balls and we hit 10 minutes and then we switched brands. And so the Wilson US Open or the Wilson Extra Duty Felt, there's very little fuzzing going on. Uh, the print looks pretty good. The compression is still pretty good. This ball felt like it was really solid, had a good sound, felt like it spun well. Um, to me, this was probably my favorite of the three. Next we hit with the pin coach. So we hit with the pin coach. This would be your value ball and initial reactions were as soon as you broke this ball, initially had a different sound than the Wilson Extra Duty. Um, it's fuzzed up a little bit more. It feels heavier. It feels um, a little slower in the air. Compression-wise, it's still a little softer, but it wasn't bad ball. Um, but it definitely had a different feel than the... We hit with the Wilson US Open. This is your premium ball, $4 a can. 
Um, hitting with this ball, you know, to be honest, I was surprised at how quickly this ball seems to wear down. So it seems like this ball is wearing down pretty fast. Uh, the felt is kind of fuzzing out. Not quite as pin coached. The print's already coming off. It felt like it just really started off strong, but then it really kind of ran out of gas towards the end. So after reviewing the three balls, I'm going to say I'm going to stick with the Wilson Extra Duty Felt. That was probably our favorite ball that we rallied with. So I'm Coach Daniel from Hammer and Tennis. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell notification because we have a lot more videos coming out your way. Thanks for watching, guys.